Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another Islands video. Now, as I'm sure many of you know, it's been quite some time since I've gone ahead and uploaded an Islands video, but just a couple of minutes ago, a brand new update went ahead and just released where they introduced a bunch of really cool new things. I know I didn't go ahead and cover the bees update, which was the previous one that happened, but as you can see, I have been playing. Currently, I do have three bees in here. I have a, a couple of honeycombs, actually, but right off the start, I'm noticing here that there is now fireflies in the game. I'm going to take a wild guess, and I'm going to say that these probably only come out at nighttime so it's unfortunate that we're not gonna be able to catch these because i really do want to go over the patch notes really quick before we continue any further into this video that way we have a general idea of what exactly was added in and oh my god i just opened them up on my other monitor and this list is massive so on the screen i'm going to show it to you guys and it says fireflies now appear during nighttime rare chance for a rainbow firefly night event no way a brand new net tool has been added to go ahead and catch bees as well as fireflies display case to show off the insects you've caught small and large variants what i guess this game has now become into bee swarm simulator we have worker blocks campfire furnace etc now have a progress bar added a quick collect shortcut for worker block lots of really small things to already pre-existing features that were in the game which lucky for us it is still nighttime so i'm gonna come in here really quick let's see is the net in here and sure enough it is for this we're gonna need a total of 15 wood to craft one so let's grab that really quick and no dude it's turning daytime let me at least get one the moment that i make a net it decides to be daytime what an actual joke anyways let's go back into the workbench here what else is there that's new so right here we have the large display case a large display case to store firefly i'm gonna make like two or three of these actually no let's make five my only problem with this is why would i want to catch my bees if i want them making honey for me unless of course the bees will continue to regenerate no matter if i get rid of them in that case i don't really mind putting a couple in and the next million dollar question is where exactly am i going to put these display case i'm not really using these two auto farms so i think i'm just going to use one of these little houses and destroy the auto farm system that i have in the bottom oh dude these display cases are tiny bro i thought they were going to be way bigger than this anyways right there we have five of them set up seems pretty simplistic on how to use this let's test it out with one of my bees even though i really didn't want to catch a bee hey come here got him yo that felt so whoa the animations are kind of cool like i don't know how to explain this but usually when you do things like that as far as like catching and stuff in roblox games it feels weird like it doesn't really feel like you're actually catching the bee but with that swipe it felt it felt nice dude i'm gonna do it again look it looks like you're really catching it and then you pull it out of the net and show it it's pretty sick i like that animation so we have two bees right now let's go into our first large display case how do i pull this up do i have to take the bees out do i just put them in my hand how does this work i don't get it i'm actually not entirely sure how this works i'm shaking the bee <laughs> will this trigger it so i actually just took a little quick peek at my discord and one of my subscribers is actually telling me that apparently they added the option to add bees into your jars because they can kind of steer away from the hives now and go to like further away flowers i don't know how true that is but i'm not entirely understanding the purpose behind putting bees inside of the jars like i understand oh dude that might be no actually there's a hive right there yeah i don't know how true that is i thought maybe that that bee had just steered away from the other hives that i have on the other side i don't know kind of confusing because it doesn't let you put the bees inside of the display cases i thought it was going to allow me to do that but i guess it's only the fireflies and restart i don't know man i'm completely confused when it comes to the whole bee thing and putting it in the jar but let's check out up here my lighting station so apparently new blocks have been added the firefly wall lamp and the firefly garden light so those are pretty cool unfortunately i'm gonna have to grab some fireflies in order to be able to make these so we can check them out next thing i want to check out is the worker stations so apparently these now have a shortcut and they have a progress meter let's go ahead and throw in some stone that should maybe potentially show up oh wait of course we have to add a fire source perfect right there yeah so it does it has a progress meter on the top will that turn into the shortcut though yeah sure enough it brings up the little thing and i, I guess maybe you can click on that so i'm not 100 sure about the quick shortcut but i am definitely glad to see that this meter right here shows you how long the fire source is gonna last that's definitely a really good touch i like that next thing we saw on the list was the industrial smelter and the sawmill effect so let's head down here uh i mean i i guess yeah it's a little bit different not really anything too crazy it's kind of more or less 
the same thing to be honest i guess maybe they're talking about what's inside of the window there i definitely want to pay a little bit of attention so when it hits nighttime we can come up here and grab some of the fireflies so you'll see me come up here a couple of times just because i definitely don't want to miss nighttime all right so now it's progressively starting to turn into nighttime so let me come into my chest room here really quick because i did see something about animations the does the chest open now? That chest doesn't. Go back to my workbench really quick here. So if we go ahead and scroll all the way down here, we should see... Oh, look. Here's a firefly lantern. We need to still get a firefly for that. So, oh, and right next to it, there it is. Small chest. So let's make like three of these. I want to see if this one has the new animation. Oh, dude, these chests are so tiny. Look at that. Yeah, so they open up. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, really overall, what it seems like is that a lot of quality of life changes were introduced for this update. But at the same time, they did introduce the fireflies, the net, and a bunch of other little cool things. So, I mean, it really wasn't all quality of life, but at the same time, it wasn't super game game changing stuff dude i am making so many honeycombs this is insane my bees are out here working hard I'm not 100 sure if adding honeycomb blocks next to the hives does really anything but I feel like it looks really cool. So I'm going to do that. All right. So it is now nighttime. We got our net. I'm starting to see the fireflies come up. Fortunately, we didn't get lucky with a rainbow one. It doesn't look like it. Let's catch this first one right here. Hey, come here. Got one. Let's go. All right. We got a yellow one. So we're able to at least make one lantern with that. So we can check that part out. But we definitely got to catch more of these. Okay. I see another one over there. All right. So I spent the entire night hunting these and I ended up getting 11 yellow fireflies. So let's come to the display case. Am I able to put these? in okay fireflies i can put in perfect so let's put in six of them in there oh dude that's pretty cool that's definitely really cool i would love to be able to get a bunch of different colored ones and then fill up maybe with one of each color in each one of these display cases obviously they're going to be adding some more insects and stuff like that now unfortunately we haven't gotten lucky with a rainbow firefly night event which honestly is kind of unfortunate but it is rare so what what do we expect really let's go ahead and make one of these firefly wall lamps and also another one of these firefly garden lights hopefully this one isn't as tiny as it looks in the picture i feel like that'll definitely get lost with everything else around here but wall lamp is super bright oh okay no just kidding it's only bright when you're holding it dude that's pretty cool i like how that looks it's actually very modern looking it's pretty sick now let's see the garden lamp yeah so it's really really tiny i don't know i don't really know how you can make that look any better maybe making the stem a little bit thicker and just like the overall thing just a little bit large i don't know it's just really tiny right now this is definitely something that i like i'm actually gonna go ahead and make another one to kind of balance that out right there i'm a big big fan of this i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna wait for one more night let's see if we get lucky and we get a rainbow event if not i'm probably just gonna call it there and keep trying if i end up getting a rainbow event i will definitely make a video instantly as soon as i get it so if you guys are interested in seeing that obviously let me know in the comments and drop a like on this video but let's go ahead and wait now till nighttime and see what happens all right so nighttime seems to be getting ready to roll in here any second now but i did forget to mention two other things that you can go ahead and make now first one obviously being the firefly lantern you don't need the game pass for this one and if we go ahead and scroll down further in the workbench you can see the small display case but anyways nighttime is here now let's see if we get lucky and we can get one of the rainbow events i'm actually not seeing any fireflies yet so this is interesting all right first one right here in front of me is a yellow one unfortunately but that does not rule out the possibility of it still being a rainbow one hopefully fingers crossed yeah one yellow there another yellow here there's another one behind me yeah pretty safe to say we didn't get a rainbow that's unfortunate i mean honestly i'm pretty sure that it'd be pretty easy to get the rainbow if we go ahead and like leave and join the lobby a bunch of times because if i'm not mistaken i think a fresh server is is pretty close to nighttime whenever you rejoin one of the vip servers and it's completely fresh i don't know man if you guys are interested in me continuing to go after this rainbow night event like i said let me know in the comments i would be more than interested i'm gonna keep playing and trying to go after it if i still end up getting it i'm probably gonna bring you guys a video but that's pretty much gonna go ahead and do it for today hopefully you guys are enjoying the update i kind of am right now i'm not gonna lie it's pretty cool going after the rainbow firefly event i don't know how cool it's gonna be after i successfully do that another really interesting detail that i want to point out about this update is that more progress has been done to the barn that is located in the hub so it's pretty safe to say that some type of animal update is right around the corner i wouldn't be surprised at all if you guys want to see leak videos on i 
islands again here on the channel make sure to drop a like on this specific video not only will it help me know that you guys want to watch the league videos but it's also going to help my content get out there so i would really appreciate that that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care